One of the things I think we're going to see a lot more of going forward is AI generated phone calls. That is inbound and also outbound, uh, effectively AI agents who will sound exactly like a human, have a conversation with you on the phone, and you're going to feel like you're speaking to a human. But in fact, it's pure AI. Think about the cost savings that this is going to give to companies, even if it's for simple things like qualifying a lead before a real human speaks to them. Either way, this is going to be incredible for the future. So I found this software called SynthFlow. There's a link underneath this video if you want to try it out for free. But watch with me now because I am going to build uh, literally an AI agent who's going to give me a call on this phone right now and then you're going to actually see it firsthand and how good it is. So here we are in the back end of SynthFlow right now and you've got these different options here and I'm going to run through on the left hand side roughly what all of these things mean. So on the left here we've got a knowledge base and this is where you can go and add in lots of content uh, such as websites, files that the actual agent can use for knowledge. So for example, if the agent made a phone call to a person, the person said, you know, hey, um, tell me about your company. When would you first open your doors or whatever, something silly like that? The AI agent can use that knowledge to respond correctly. So that's where you would add all the knowledge. Here we've got actions that you would like the AI to take uh, during or after the phone call. So for example, you can have it send an SMS message after the call's over or do a real-time booking that's connected to a calendar. Uh, you can even transfer the calls to a human as well. Let's just say the person on the phone is getting fed up um, for some reason and they just want to speak to a human about a question because the AI doesn't know the answer because it hasn't been given the answer then you can also arrange for that as well and just provide it with a number that it can be transferred to. And then speaking of that, the phone numbers, you're going to need a phone number to be able to, um, you know, come up on people's phones and to actually ring from as the AI. Well, you can buy it directly through this synth flow here and they're really, really cheap. I mean, they're like $1.50 a month. And you can pick all of these different um, numbers here for USA and Canada. I would imagine they'll they'll add more later on with time. But the point is, is it works now and you can use those. And then uh, integration wise, wow, I mean, you can integrate this system with so many different things. Uh, go high level. Uh, I also understand, yep, they've got HubSpot here as well. You can link it up with Zapier and Eleven Labs. If you're familiar with Eleven Labs, Eleven Labs is one of the best AI voice generators. So you can even clone your own voice with Eleven Labs and then pull it into here to use it. And I'm going to show you this. So we'll go to the assistants. You can look at some of their templates that they've already done. So for example, if you wanted someone who's going to deal with inbound calls for say a car dealership, you can go and create uh, your agent from this to save you a lot of time. You can go and listen to the different voices and things. Same for real estate, recruitment, uh, these are just like rough templates. I'm sure they'll add more later on, but you can also create yours from scratch. Or you can go through like a wizard setup here where you give them your phone number, you give them the details to use, and then it just gets set up for you. But I'm going to click uh, start from scratch and I'm going to create a new outbound uh, caller. Here we go. And so it will just bring up all of the settings here. Now, to start with, this looks a bit intimidating, but actually it's really not. It's very simple to get going with this. So we, we can upload a little photo there, a little image um, for this that represents this particular caller. Then we can choose the language that the assistant uh, is able to understand and deal with. And then we can choose a name for it. And over here, we can choose our voices and look at all these different preset voices that we have loads of them you can have a little listen if you want to know what they're like hey there there you go that was a uh, confident friendly british girl called alice uh, and then there's lots of other different ones plus custom voices and you can clone your own voice as well so that's pretty cool but um, what I did is I actually linked up to my Eleven Labs account, linked the linked it up here with SynthFlow. Very easy. Took two seconds. Copied and pasted an API in, and now I've actually got me that I can select. So in a minute, I can have a conversation with myself 
which is weird, but you guys get to watch that. And then down here, we've got our patience level. How long do we want to take before we have the AI kind of respond to things? So you can adjust that there. There's the different languages. We've got Synthflow's own kind of LLM, and then also GPT-40, which is the best at the moment, that will be effectively dealing with the responses. And then just here, you've got your custom greeting that you can have, like when somebody would ring in, and then you want to enable record because it'd be so interesting for you as a business owner, of course, to be able to monitor these calls and see how well the AI is responding to people and how, in fact, well people are, you know, responding to the AI and are they working with it and enjoying it and, and getting what they need from the call. And then up at the top right here, we're going to select our phone number. This is one of the numbers that I already purchased from over here on the left, $1.50 a month. And then I'm going to name my representative. So I'm going to just call my rep uh, Tony, even though it's me. And then um, you can just put in a number here to test this out. But before I do that, let's move on to the next settings just here, which is the prompt. At the top, you've got the ability to add the knowledge. Remember I told you earlier in the knowledge base, you can upload all of your company documentation to enable the chatbot to know everything that you would train an employee. With. And that can all be added to this bot right here. And then underneath is the prompt area. Now think of this as effectively the, the training that you would give to an employee who's about to start making those outbound calls for you. You know, what do you want them to say when they get an objection? What's the purpose of the call? All the nitty gritty details of how this person should react to the caller. And if we look through here, look, you can see skeptical prospects. And then it's got instruction, offer some case studies, some client testimonials, a live demo perhaps to alleviate their concern. Down the bottom here, script instructions, what you want it to do, the initial contact, um, initiate the call by confirming the prospect's identity. So, you know, the first thing it should say then in that case is, oh, hi, you know, is that so-and-so? And, -so? and uh, once you've got this exactly the way that you want it, then you can move on and you can decide what actions you would like to happen if you need some to happen. For example, if you want the AI to um, ask the person to make a booking, you can add that in here or you can add an SMS after the end of the call. There we go. That says like, thanks for speaking with me. Here's the link that you wanted or here's a link to go and buy the product. And then deployment wise, you've got loads of different um, settings here where you can do like web hooks. You can install it with Go uh, High Level and um, we can link it up with Zapier. There's so many different things you can do. It's almost, it's just basically what do you want to happen? You can pretty much guarantee you can make uh, this system work with yours with what's available here. So now let's actually give it a try. Let's see if this works. I'm just going to uh, find my number here. I'm going to put in my mobile and have this AI call me. And by the way, just to let you know down here, this is like a, obviously not a, a real prompt for a real company, but we've got this company here called Cloud Innovate. And basically, uh, this person here is called Jordan. The AI is called Jordan. And uh, it says that it's a senior sales representative at the company focusing on businesses interested in enhancing their project management with some of their software. So I guess he's going to talk to me about that. So I'm going to add in my number now. Let's just get rid of that. And then just see if it will give me a call. Make sure my phone's on and uh, I don't have it on silent, which is what I usually do. Uh, here we go. Let's press call me. And fingers crossed. Here it goes. Oh, oh, here we go. So incoming phone call. I'm going to answer it. And the weird thing is, this is going to be me speaking. Hello. Hi, is this prospect's name? Yes, it is. Great. This is Jordan from Cloud Innovate. How are you doing today? Pretty good, actually. Awesome to hear. I wanted to chat with you about how Cloud Innovate can help streamline your project management. Have you had a chance to look into our solutions yet? I haven't yet. No worries. Cloud Innovate offers some fantastic tools for task management, time tracking and more. Would you be interested in a quick demo to see how it could benefit your team? Yeah, OK. I'm a bit busy at the moment, though. Can we do that for another time? Absolutely, I understand. How about we schedule a time that works best for you? What's your availability like next week? Uh, pretty good, actually. I can do Wednesday. Perfect. 
I'll set up a demo for Wednesday. Can I confirm your phone number to send the details? Uh, yep, I'll do that uh, next time we speak. Thanks very much. Sounds good. I'll follow up with you soon. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> that is good, isn't it? I didn't want to read out my phone number and then have to like sort it out. That's why I didn't give them the phone number. So now the call is completed. You can see on the screen there. You can see, you can judge how it did um, to fine tune it. We can see the whole transcript just down here of the call. Look at that. And then there's the actual physical recording of it as well, if you wanted to. And then the analysis down the bottom there, there's some other information. But I mean, wow, can you imagine, you know, having this be able to ring multiple people, hundreds, thousands of people if you wanted to, depending on what your business is. And, you know, this person's never going to get tired or call in sick or whinge and moan. And that is why... For me, companies are going to start using these AI AI voice bots. They're just going to because it just makes total financial sense. And from the person's point of view who's on the phone, you know, it, it, I didn't find that an annoying conversation and it didn't even sound like it was a, a robotic, you know, sort of voice. And obviously mine was cloned from 11 labs. You know, not perfect. I didn't spend much time on cloning it. But you can use any of those other voices, whichever one would fit your brand. But for me, I think this is going to be uh, huge. I can see a lot of businesses start to use this very soon. And this software seems to me that um, it would get you off to a flying start. I mean, if this is early days for this product, I think it's, it's very, very good and usable now. So um, what other things can you do with it? Well, one of the things that I really liked, so if we go to here, this is called Workflows. This is a new thing in beta, but it feels a bit like Zapier, um, but straight in here. So if I was to, I'll just put something in there. I'm going to say the event type is to make a call. And what I thought would be absolutely amazing, imagine this, you are doing a Facebook ad campaign that, you know, has a, a Facebook lead gen campaign. Maybe you're in solar or something like that and you want to try and get some inbound leads. But the second they come in, you want to be ringing them up and pre-qualifying. them. So you might get the AI to say things like, OK, you know, do you have this amount of roof space? Uh, is it easy access to your property or any of the kind of questions that someone who was going to sell solar um, would want to ask? Well, the trigger you can choose from all of these different things here, like Calendly. and that, But look at this, look, Facebook leads, new lead triggers making a phone call. Now, to me, I just think that would be unbelievable. It just kind of uh, makes me want to go and do a Facebook lead gen campaign just to try this out and see if, you know, people will work nicely with these AI voice bots. I think they will. And obviously they're going to get better and better anyway. So this could be a, a useful thing for your business um, if you do any kind of advertising. But obviously there's loads and loads of other use cases. And what you need to do is you need to think uh, as the, you know, the owner of your business, OK, how can I use this new technology to save time and save money within my company or, or make more money? You know, not just save money. How can you make more with it? You know, a person could only call, say, 40 odd people per day, 40 or 50 people per day if you've got a sales rep. Well, this this could do, you know, <laughs> hundreds probably and just never stop. So this is a very powerful technology. Um, again, there's all the integrations. They've got an API as well, um, if that's your uh, thing and you need to connect it up with that. So it's got a lot going for it. Also, if you're interested in selling this, as an agent, you know, an agency, um, I believe they also have a white labeled version of this. So you can set up an agency where you provide voice bots for companies and then charge them at whatever you want to charge them. There you go. Complete white label. You can add your own logo and domains. Keep everything looking professional and on brand. So um, that could be a good option for you as well, depending on your business. But I, I would give it a try out. Um, why not? The link is underneath this video and you can do all of these different kind of things. Automated appointment booking, outbound, inbound calls, AI receptionist. And then the pricing's down there. Um, let's just take this one here. The Pro, um, which you can save money with, especially if you do annual, I believe. There you go. It's $375 a month annual. But remember, you can try this out for free. Um, but 
what you can have one workspace with five active assistants. You could do a lot of calling with five active assistants and a lot of inbound calls. You get two and a half thousand minutes with that. So I suppose if you were to do the maths, like how much would it cost for you to have a human to spend two and a half thousand minutes on the phone, you know, saying exactly the right thing compared to when sometimes you, you, we've all done it. We've all made a call to our bank and had five different answers depending on who answers the phone. And the thing is, is with a chat bot, a voice chat, you're basically going to get the same answer every time, more or less, maybe said in a different way, but the same answer because it's using that knowledge base. So there's a lot of benefits with this, I think. And um, anyway, try it out. See what you think. That's it for this video. If you found this useful, please do um, click that like button and then there'll be another video coming in just a second.